Hello everyone, my name is Jackie and I am the librarian here at the Anger River Public Library and we are about to have story time and we're going to start with our opening song. For those that know it, feel free to sing along. Otherwise, here we go. I have a different friend today to help me sing it. It goes like this. Tell me a story, tell me a story, tell me a story. One hand. Tell me about the birds and the bees, how to make the chicken sneeze. Look. Tell me a story. <laughs> well, we have a new friend with us today, isn't he? Yeah, what is this? Old Crow wasn't with us, but he's filled in, filling in for us today. Yeah. This is called, it's a fish, of course, but it's called an angler fish. See, it has all the little fins that are needed to have for a fish. But the reason this is called an angler fish is because he comes with his own fishing pole that he can light up like this. Yep. He is an anglerfish, and he's come to introduce our story time, which happens to be about oceans. And he's one of the things somebody might find in the ocean if they were swimming down deep. What else could we find in the ocean besides fish? Well, there are lots of different animals in the ocean, some that are really unique. One of them would be this thing. This is a giant. Marmora jellyfish. Look at all the, the hair type thing. And to give you an idea how big it is, you can see over on this side, there is a man or a adult woman swimming alongside it. It's really, really big. Another thing is this. This is a giant clam. Now you might see the clams around our neck of the woods. They're little things that you can kind of eat. But this is a giant one. This is the size, maybe as wide as that. It, pretty big and has some pretty blue color along that. But again, it's not something we would see around here because it is always in the oceans. We don't see these little and not so little animals. Well, we have got lots of color in those two pictures, didn't we? And we don't see that color around here in the lakes because they have to blend in with the mud. But in the ocean, we can have all kinds of colors. And we are going to see some of those colors today in Hey, a Colorful Mystery by Kate Green. All was quiet in the deep blue sea. Does anyone want to play? Said the tiny pink fish. But no one answered, so, hey, she really yelled. Eek, there's something scary in there. Did you hear? There's something loud in there. Did you see? There's something enormous in there. Did you know there's a scary fish hiding in the deep? Was that fish big? Enormous. Let's see how big that one is. It was pretty tiny, wasn't it? She loud because you had to yell, but not very big and scary. The roars grew bigger and bigger. There are hundreds of them with mean thoughts and big ideas to gobble up the fish. You think that little pink fish is going to gobble up all those? I don't think so either. The red octopus was really rattled. Crawl for your lives. Which petrified the purple puffer fish, which blow up like that when you get scared. And startled the blue shoal. But they're all fish flying away. And terrified the green turtle. Hi, it's a which shocked the yellow eel. Oh, running for their lives, they're scared. And confused the orange crabs. Its claws are this big. Did it have claws? No, it didn't at all. It was a fish, wasn't it? Even the silver gray sharks were scared. It had rows of razor sharp teeth, the crab says. The whole ocean floor shook into a busy, frothy, frenzy, flame to the safety of a deep, dark.
dark cave. Is that actually true? Uh oh, the cave door is closing. Snap! I think they just went into a very giant clam. All was quiet in the deep, dark sea. Does anyone want to play? said the tiny princess. But no one answered. So, hey! yelled again. And this time the clam went. There's something scary down there. Freedom! Hey, thanks. Found you, said the pink fish. And she joined the marvelous multicolored mayhem of a colorful mystery by Kate Reed. Oh, those fish were all so scared from all the sound that just seemed to come out of that little tiny pink fish. Scared everyone around them. Yeah. Well, we are singing a song about a tiny pink fish. And it goes like this There's a little pink fish swimming in the water. A little pink fish doing what he ought to. He took a bite of a little leaf and flapped his fins and he said, I'm glad I'm a little pink fish. Glub, glub, glub. But, you know, fish come in all colors and sizes in that book, weren't there? Let's try a different color. Oh, they're trying red. There's a tiny red fish swimming in the water. Give me a little pink. I'm getting myself all confused. Let's try it again. There's a little red fish swimming in the water. A little red fish doing what he ought to. He took a bite of a little leaf pad. Flapped his fins and he said, I'm glad I'm a little red fish. Glum, glum, glum. Let's try orange. I'm a little orange fish swimming in the water. A little orange fish doing what he ought to. He took a bite of a little leaf and flapped his fins and he said, I'm glad I'm a little orange fish. Glum, glum, glum. Now we're going to go with a white fish. I'm a little white fish swimming in the water. A little white fish doing what he ought to. He took a bite of a little leaf pad, flapped his fins, and he said, I'm glad I'm a little white fish. Glum, glum, glum. Let's go with black next. I'm a little black fish swimming in the water. A little black fish do what he ought to a bite of a little leaf pad flapped his fins and he said I'm glad I'm a little like fish glum 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 well that's enough of that right now we had four different colored fish and I'm sure there's a lot more fish colors that you would like to say when we are meeting in person we will make sure we say all the colors that you choose but all those pretty colored fish were in that book, weren't they? And they were all part of the ocean. But what is the ocean? Well, the ocean is a really, really ginormous, big, huge body of water. Now, since we live up by Lake Superior, that's a really large body of water. But the ocean is even bigger. It goes as far as the eye can see, and you cannot see the other side. But we're going to find out more about the little girl's ocean in My Ocean is Blue by Darren Lambeau and Ashley Barron. This is My Ocean. Walks a little girl and her mother down to the beach where they're spreading their red and white towel or blanket. And this is my ocean. Look at that. You can go as far as I can see. You don't see anything on the other side. It's so big. My ocean is big. But my ocean can be small. If I pick up a little bit of it, pick up a little tiny thing. My ocean is shallow, especially by the beach. You can step in it just to cover your toes. And my ocean is deep. 
and you jump into a deep part of it. My ocean is slimy. That's some of the plant life you see under the water. And it's sandy, especially along the beach. It can be sparkly, like all the pretty sparkles in the water, or dull, like all the ones on the beach. My ocean is dotted and spiraled, just like the octopus she's drawing in the sand. And wavy and straight, the symbols. Sometimes my ocean is dry, a dried out piece of wood. And sometimes it's wet. And you're splashing with moms and dads and brothers and sisters and all kinds of fun. And sometimes it's rotten. You can see the flies buzzing around that dead fish. P U icky. And sometimes it's fresh, like the flowers that we see there. My ocean splashes and crashes and echoes and squawks. Okay, you see the seagulls. One, two, three. And the whale, one to big tail. And my ocean laughs and howls like the dolphins. One, two dolphins, along with people on the boat. But at times, it's silent. My ocean appears, especially when the tide comes in, and it disappears when the tide goes out. It bobs and skips and jumps and sinks. It's just on a rock just across the water. My ocean is blue, deep, deep blue, quiet blue, endless blue. My ocean is also vibrant pink, rusted orange, faded white, Balanced gray, runaway red, and polished green. See, that is a starfish, an anchor. This is seashells or sand dollars. That is a seagull. This is a lobster or crab, excuse me. And then these are stones. But mostly it's blue. My ocean is always different. Oh, it's time to go. She's getting her crutches and her mom's piling up the blanket. I wonder what my ocean will be tomorrow. My ocean is blue by Darren LaBeouf and Ashley Darren. Well, that was fun being on the beach with that little girl, wasn't it? Well, we needed to sing about the beach. This is the song that we're gonna have next is in accordance with the rule, the sound of wheels on the bus. But instead of wheels on the bus, we're going to have the waves of the ocean going up and down, the crabs on the beach crawling back and forth, and the lobster on the beach going snap, snap, snap. And then, of course, there's the clams that get to the beach, and they go open and shut, open and shut. And then a jellyfish that goes with a lot of water. Goes like this. The waves on the beach go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves on the beach go up and down all day long. The crabs on the beach crawl back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The crabs on the beach crawl back and forth all day long. The lobsters on the beach go stamp, 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 stamp. Stamp, stamp, stamp. The lobsters on the beach go stamp, stamp, stamp all day long. The clams on the beach go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The clams on the beach go open and shut all day long. The jellyfish on the beach go wiggle and wobble, wiggle and wobble. Wibble and wobble. The like fish on the beach go wibble and wobble all day long. Let's do that again. We got all do it one more time. We'll just go a little faster this time since you know how to do all the signs on the line. 
The waves on the beach go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves on the beach go up and down all day long. The crabs on the beach crawl back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The crabs on the beach go back and forth all day long. The lobsters on the beach go snap, 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 snap. Lobsters on the beach go snap, 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 snap all day long. The clam on the beach goes open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The clams on the beach go open and shut all day long. The jellyfish on the beach go wibble and wobble, wibble and wobble, wibble and wobble. Jellyfish on the beach go wibble and wobble all day long. Oh, you guys did that so well. But that gives us time for just one more story. And that story is called I'm the Biggest Thing in the Ocean by Kevin Sherry. Now, there's one page in here that's really, really wide. So I have to back it up so you can make sure you see it. So I'm going to stand back here. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. I'm a giant squid and I'm big. I'm bigger than these shrimp. Look at them all. Little tiny things. He's much, much bigger than them. I'm bigger than these clams. Look how little clams are they? Just little hand sized ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten of them. He's bigger than all of those ten clams. I'm bigger than this crab, although the crab's got a hold of one of his legs. And I'm bigger than that jellyfish. See all the little tangles in his hand while he's breaking the fishes. I'm bigger than these turtles. How many are there? One. Two, three, four, five. Five turtles. And he's bigger than all of them. I am even bigger than this octopus. What color is that octopus? Kind of a pretty purple color, isn't it? But he's bigger than the octopus, most definitely. I am bigger than that shark. I'm bigger than this fish, that fish, this fish, and that fish. And he's upside down even. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. He's pretty proud of that, isn't he? But what happened now? I think somebody else is bigger than him. And he gets eaten by the big, huge whale. And he's inside. He doesn't look very happy because he's no longer the biggest in the ocean. But then he starts to smile. He's thinking, hmm, this might not be bad. This might be good. I'm the biggest thing in this whale. And that is I'm the biggest thing in the ocean by Kevin Sherry. Well, I hope you enjoyed a view of the ocean. If you ever get to see it someday in person, it is spectacular in color and beautiful in sight and size too. And of course, it has some scary fish in it also. So. But you have a good rest of the day and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.